Oh my goodness, do I have a video for you today. Thanks so much for tuning back in. My name is Isaac David and this is The Daily Disciple where I help you follow Jesus daily. Today, man, I saw... Okay, so here's the story. I was scrolling Twitter as I sometimes do. I try not to do it as much recently with um, all the stuff that's been going on. And this would apply for the last um, pretty much year. There's been a lot of stuff going on. But anyway, I was scrolling... Uh, Twitter and there was this clip of a famous comedian Sarah Silverman um, talking about hell so you know me I'm always looking for content to talk about or you know think about or use something as an example or whatever react to it so I thought today let's uh, watch this video together and see uh, see what she has to say about hell and heaven and all that stuff. Um, but before we watch that video, I just want to give a huge shout out to everyone on Patreon. It is because of your support that I'm able to continue to do this. I love doing this thing. It's my favorite thing in the world to create content for you guys. It helps you follow Jesus daily. And uh, the goal right now we got 26 patrons, and the goal is to get to 30 by the end of January. That's four patrons at five dollars a month. We need. So if you could be one of those four, head on over to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple. And it would mean so much to me. Um, so thank you for that. And now onto the video. So I have to be honest, I have not really seen any of Sarah Silverman's comedy. Um, based on what I've heard, it sounds like a lot of sex humor and um, kind of unfunny jokes. And she just sounds kind of crude and... Yeah, so not my thing, uh, not my thing, um, but she is very famous, and I think she's been in a couple movies, and uh, she does have a podcast, and on this podcast, uh, she likes to spout her opinions about numerous things, um, and I don't blame her for that, that's just interesting entertainment, I guess, um, you gotta pay the bills, and you gotta entertain people, so, you know, whatever, but, uh, so she talked about hell, and I'm thinking, let's watch it now. And there is no hell. There's no heaven or it depends on what your definition of heaven is or what your de definition of hell. But in terms of like the fiery pits of hell, if you're in the range of my voice right now and you're someone who believes and fears hell, let me release you of that fear right now. There is no hell. I promise you. I promise you. I mean, what do I know? But I believe it with my whole heart. I mean, I I was in New York before COVID. I was in New York and um, some kids were leaving. A Catholic school had just let out and they were leaving with their, you know, the kids were walking out of the school and I couldn't help myself. I go, there's no hell. And one boy looked back. He goes, what? I go, I'm, I'm, I'm an adult and I'm telling you. I promise you there is no hell. And the friend I was with said, you can't tell other people's kids there isn't hell. And I was like, I guess, but like, I don't know. What am I ruining hell for them? But if you are listening to me and you fear hell, please let me release you of it. And I promise you're not going to be a crueler person because you don't believe in hell. It feels good to be good. It feels good to be kind, you know? I, you're still gonna make the same mistakes either way. But I promise you that if there's hell, may God strike me dead right now, in right now. See, no God, all right. Oh my goodness. Can you believe that? Okay, there's so much in that. There's so much. Oh my goodness. There's so much in that. Let's start at the beginning. She says, I promise you, there is no hell. That's what she says. She, she believes it with all her heart. She wants to release us from this bondage of believing that there is a hell. And I think she might come from maybe the background even of seeing people use use hell as kind of a disciplinary tool. Like, 
Timmy, don't don't be bad, Timmy. There's, you know, you don't want to go to hell, Timmy. So be a good little boy, Timmy, and all that kind of thing. So maybe that's kind of the angle that she she's going at, and she talks about this like Catholic school, and she's yelling, "Could you imagine that? Like you're just a little kid, and some lady's just laying. There's no hell. There's like, oh my god, no, traumatizing. Number one. Also, just weird on her part. Like, why do you care so much? Like, why, you know, like so she she obviously you know she has something she has some sort of knowledge above everybody else that she knows she knows there's no hell so she wants to just graciously release you from it well if we're looking in the bible romans 1 talks about the fact that everyone knows god exists they simply suppress that truth and unrighteousness and obviously sarah if she was hearing this or watching this video now she would think that was absolutely idiotic but it doesn't change the truth and you know what's scary to me? Like, you know what? It makes me see God as so much more glorious and gracious. Even in just that video, like somebody that just was putting out on the air for thousands of people to watch just said there is no hell and said, God strike me dead. Could you imagine that? Like, can you imagine that? Like, and just the graciousness of God to let her continue to live, right? This is the God of the universe and he is being mocked. But yet, you know, he allows the rain to pour on both the, the, the you know, the, the good and the bad. And that is just part of his grace for us. And I think there's a big misunderstanding here because maybe you're watching this video here and you kind of, Maybe you, you, you found, you found yourself watching this video and you're kind of relieved when Sarah said that you were kind of like, Oh man. Yeah. Maybe there isn't hell and maybe it's okay. And you know, Sarah, she really believes it's true. And, and maybe that's, that's okay. And maybe, maybe that's, that, that's all right. Maybe that's how you felt. And you felt some sort of sense of relief. Well, let me be straight up with you. Um, the, the relief that we, we, we desire that, that freeing of us from the bondage um, is not a bondage from a knowledge of hell or, or a belief that it doesn't exist. No, true freedom, my friend, comes when we actually figure out what we're actually in bondage to. But as somebody that's not regenerated by the Holy Spirit, you are in complete bondage to sin. You are in bondage to that sin nature, that nature that cannot do good, that nature that desires what is, what is evil, right? And only God can change that. Only God can lift that, that bondage and that, that baggage from us. And also this idea of performance, how, you know, some people, when maybe when they hold hell over as like a, dis a discipline tool, they're saying, oh, be good, be good, be good. And that puts enormous weight on people. But I want to free you from that. If you're feeling that too, you're like, I got to be good so I don't go to hell and there's this weight. No. Who is one who is good for you. And this is what people don't understand. This is why they think God is a monster because they, they miss out on a key aspect of, of who he is. And that is his grace. And that is his love. And he demonstrated that on the cross for us. And, and, and so the thing is, is Sarah has this vitriol, this, 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 this anger towards God. And she, she obviously is just a complete atheist where she believes that she can call down from God and tell him to strike her and nothing's going to happen. But my friends, the key is not to deceive yourself. The key is not to suppress the truth about God. The key is to place your faith in the one who has already freed us from the bondage of sin and the weight of being good enough and the weight of being enough on our own because we can't be. We can't be good enough on our own. But when we see Jesus, man, that makes him look even more beautiful because, man, he did it for us. So we didn't have to go to hell because hell exists. And if somebody tells you otherwise, they're either so deceived themselves that, that, that they've just convinced themselves that, that that's true or they're lying to you. Or both, honestly. Well, I mean, either way, they're lying to you. Man, I, I, I like, <laughs> I've never, <laughs> wow. Like I, I'm kind of shocked by that, her calling down on God to strike her like that. 
May we never, ever, ever find ourselves in a place where we ever do that. Because there will be a day, man. There's a judgment day coming. And, and all those who are sealed by the Holy Spirit will be saved. And all those who have not trusted in Jesus will be cast in the lake of fire. And that's not... And that's not fear mongering and that's not some sort of like tactic to, oh, you got to believe. No, it's just the truth. It's just the truth. And um, that's all I can share with you is the truth. And, and, and because I love you and because um, if I'm not sharing the truth with you on here, I'm like, I'm wasting this platform. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching this video. Uh, it was kind of a downer, honestly. I, I don't know. Like, we gotta, we gotta watch some more funny videos on here. I don't know. Maybe suggest some down in the comments or whatever. But I hope you guys got something from this video and you were, you were helped in some way. Um, and um, yeah, thank you so much for those of you who are on Patreon. As I said, the goal is to get 30 patrons. And man, I love doing this. This is my favorite thing in the world. So thank you for all of those who are helping me get to that goal. Um, God bless you guys, and I'll see you soon. See you later.